Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how do we remove .php extension from URL with .tuxis file. In previous tutorial on .tuxis file with PHP script, we have discussed how can we change or replace .php file extension with other file extension like .html. Some this times, we want to make user friendly URL. So for make user friendly or SEO friendly URL, we want to remove file extension from URL. So, in this tutorial, we will first learn how to remove file extension from URL, and then after we will learn how can we get URL parameter value from user friendly in our PHP file? Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our working folder. And here we have two PHP file like index.php and tutorial.php. First we have open index.php file. And here we have right anchor tag, with ref is equal to tutorial, and in anchor text, we have write php tutorial. Same way we have go to tutorial.php file, here also, we have right anchor tag, with ref is equal to index, and in anchor text, we have write home. Now we have go to browser, in here we have load this index file, and here on web page, we can see php tutorial link. So, we have click on link, after click on link, here we can see page not found error on web page. This is because, here in our directory, we cannot find tutorial file. But here we can tutorial.php file, so by removing .php extension, we can load the content of tutorial.php file. So, here we have create one file, and this file has been saved as with name.tuxis file, so this way, we can create .tuxis file. In this file, we have write rewrite engine on rule. This will check PHP mod rewrite extension is enabled or not in our server. If it is enabled then it will process for check other rule. Below this, we have write rewrite rule. After this, we have write tutorial dollar sign, and after this we have write tutorial dot php, with open and close bracket, and between this, we have write l alphabet. This rule will remove dot php extension from tutorial dot php file, and we can open tutorial dot php file content, without dot php extension. This method will remove .php extension of single specific file. Now we have go to browser, and here we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, we can see tutorial.php file content has been load in browser, with write only tutorial in URL. So, this way we can remove .php file extension for single specific file. Now we have click on this home link. Then we have again received page not found error. So now we want to remove all PHP file extension. So, we have go to .tuxis file. And here first we have comment this code. Below this, we have write rewrite condition rule, with percentage sign, after this, 
we have right open and close bracket, and between this, we have right request file name. And lastly, we have right exclamation mark with dash d alphabet. This condition will check, requested file name is not a directory. Next we have again write, rewrite condition rule, with percentage sign, after this, we have write open and close bracket, and between this, we have write request file name. And lastly, we have write exclamation mark with dash f alphabet. This condition will check, requested file name is exists in directory. After this, we have write rewrite rule, and in rule we have write open and close bracket, and between bracket, we have again write open and close bracket, and between this, we have write forward slash, with dot sign. After this inner bracket, we have write plus sign, and after this outer bracket, we have write dollar sign, next we have write dollar one dot php, and lastly we have write open and close bracket, and between this, we have write nc comma l. This rule will remove dot php extension from all php file. So friends, here we have on index page, and here we can see page not found error. Now we have write rule for remove php extension for all file in dot tuxes file. So we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see the content of index.php file, without entering .php extension, here on index page, we can see php tutorial link. So, we have click on link, after click on link, URL has redirect to tutorial, and here we can see tutorial.php file content on web page. So this way we can remove extension from all PHP file. Now we have proceed for how to make user friendly URL. And then after fetch URL variable value in PHP file. For this first, we have go to index.php file. And here in anchor tag ref attribute, we have write tutorial slash PHP. And in anchor text, we have write PHP tutorial. So when we have click on this link, page will redirect to tutorial slash PHP URL. After this, we have copy this code and paste it below. And here we have change ref value with tutorial slash jkari and in anchor text. We have write jkari tutorial, so when we have click on this link, page will redirect to tutorial slash jkari url. Again we have copy this code, and paste it below, and here we have change ref value, with tutorial slash ajax, and in anchor text, we have write ajax tutorial. So when we have click on this link, page will redirect to tutorial slash ajax url. Now we have go to dot tuxes file, and here above this line, we have write rewrite rule, space tutorial slash, open and close bracket, and between this, we have again write open and close bracket. And between this, we have write small and big alphabet with 0 to 9 number, dash slash, and next to inner bracket, we have write plug sign, and next to outer bracket, we have write dollar sign. For received variable from user friendly URL, 
we have go to tutorial.php file and here we have write dollar url variable is equal to pass url function with two argument in first argument we have write dollar server request ori variable and in second argument we have write php url path here dollar server request ori variable return contains the ori of the current page and this pass url function passes the url below this we have write dollar url array variable is equal to explode function with two argument in first argument we have write slash and in second argument we have write dollar url this code will convert url into associative array next we have write dollar language variable is equal to end function and under this function we have write dollar url array variable this code will return the last index dot url array now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar language variable is equal to php if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write echo statement with text like welcome to php tutorial after this we have write else if statement and under condition we have write dollar language variable is equal to jkari if this condition true then it will execute this block of code under this block we have write echo statement with text like welcome to jkari tutorial below this we have again write else if statement and under condition we have write dollar language variable is equal to ajax if this condition true then it will execute this block of code under this block we have write echo statement with text like welcome to ajax tutorial now if all above condition falls then it will execute else block of code and here we have write echo statement with text like no tutorial found so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends here we can see index page now we have refresh page after refresh of web page here on web page we can see three link on web page first we have click on php tutorial link then page has redirect to tutorial slash php url and on web page we can see message like welcome to php tutorial now we have again go to index page and here we have click on ajax tutorial link and now page has redirect to tutorial slash ajax url and here on web page we can see message like welcome to ajax tutorial and lastly we have remove ajax from url and press enter then on web page we can see no tutorial found message on web page so this way we can make user friendly url and then after we have received url variable value in php file so in this tutorial we have learned how to remove php extension from url and then after we have make seo friendly url and lastly we have seen how to get url variable value in php file if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends.
or even you can also share on social media also.